This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. And right now I am on level 13, Woodland Cleaver. Let's see what we're doing here. Use your new cleave skill as often as you can. All right. And so we have a wall true statement. Keep in mind, anything in between this bracket here and this bracket that's highlighted will be repeated forever. And this slash slash and slash slash here, it means that is a comment. That is there for us to read. The computer skips over that line. All right, so first we're going to move to 2323. Let's see, which I would assume there is an X, Y graph, of course. X is the vertical. Y is the horizontal, just like in math, X is back and forth, Y is up and down. Uh, it's invisible and behind the game board. So if we move the mouse around, you can see it says here, it says X is 32, Y is 14, right? So move 23, 23, I guess that's somewhere. Well, let's see if I move the mouse. Oh, it must be to this point here. Yes, it is. All right, so first we move our here or there. That's outside of our wall loop, so he would do that just one time. Then we make this variable enemy. A variable, just like in math, uh, x plus 1 equals 3. x plus 1 equals 3. So x must equal 2 in that situation. x is a variable. x doesn't mean x. It means something else. Enemy here is a variable. Enemy doesn't mean enemy. It means something else. What does it mean? Well, our hero is going to look around. If our hero sees an enemy, then enemy will be equal to that enemy our hero saw. Our hero will name that enemy enemy. This could also be Y or Fred. Whatever we want to call the variable, that is fine. We would then need to refer to anything else down here that we called enemy Fred, right? Whatever we want to create there, use for the title is fine. That is then equal to whatever our hero sees when he looks around. If he looks around and sees nothing, enemy is nothing. Otherwise, if he looks around and sees an enemy, that enemy's new name is enemy. And we can use that to attack them. So use the cleave skill as often as you can. If hero is ready, cleave the enemy. Okay, and right now our enemy will be equal to enemy because that's what we're using for a variable. So we're going to go ahead and type if cleave is ready. So this statement checks to make sure, hey, is cleave ready? If cleave is ready. If cleave is ready, this is true and this code runs. And all the code between this bracket and that bracket will run. If it is false, everything from this bracket to this bracket is skipped over. And then automatically our else statement is going to run. So if this is true, the stuff in here runs. Else if else so if it is not true else run this so if this is happening do that else do this so first though in the if statement we need to cleave hero cleave um enemy that is actually what we need get rid of that extra semicolon there and that looks good else if cleave isn't ready do your normal attack Alrighty, attack and that is inside this else statement. So this will only run if cleave isn't ready, if cleave is false. Let's go ahead and hit run and see how this looks. Hmm, that's looking all right. So I'm going to hit submit and see if we got it. Excellent. Let's keep going.